recording number two. Just, yeah, there's some chance that I don't have enough file storage or whatever, and it just like cancels. So that would obviously be a nightmare. Guy P is really willing to get after it. All right, twenty three bigs in an extremely precarious ICM spot now. He can do jamming, he can do raising, he can do limping, he can do folding. He's sticking to the call strategy. Easy check with my hand, I think. I can be really full there. I haven't really had many, like, just like eight two offsuits and stuff like that. I can kind of go crazy, but man, am I good at flopping, uh, flopping trips. So last time I was tricky. I'm try to take a little bit and I'm gonna min butt here. This tricky would have been better. I need to mix in some checks with threes, but my five feels like a reasonable second card to bet. I don't know what's a good one. Maybe Jack of Hearts 3. Just like blocking a lot of but a lot more continues. He's gonna fold a lot of Jack High in the turn. I get to cool though in Future Street. Snap. He's definitely opening the button. He's opening the button too wide, so I'm gonna look to try to attack that. Waltman's played fairly reasonable throughout. Spot where if Booyah Stink wasn't in the big blind, I would open, but I think like Isado's mixed big blind. I just want Jan, I want Dan to jam and I want Mike to call. I want those three stacks to collide. So I'm gonna play much more passively. Snap. It's gotta almost always be a forward after the. Four second uh, after the four second wait. Yeah, 10 7 3 check check makes a lot of sense. Main betting makes sense. I think if the 10 was lower or the 3 was higher, big betting would make sense. Like 8 7 3 or 10 7 5. Delay C bet. Bluffs should wrap the 10. Queen 9, Jack 9, Queen Jack. First top spade. Mr. Chen can ravage him on the 3 if he, if he would so like. I assume he gets some donk jams there. Wow. A lot of these guys on this site like to go thin for value. I would have typically just checked the 9s, but. Peaked out a really, really nice stream value there. All right. So we're 
definitely all in versus a uh, man. How am I not all in here? I mean, Dan hasn't played a single hand and he's opening up a short stock, but. But yeah, I think we just gotta be, just gotta be AI. Fold. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is part of running really hot. I'm not sure how low I'm supposed to go down in there against Dan, like, I would have folded Jack-9 suited for sure. Jack-10 suited feels like a gem as well, but, I mean, I imagine his raise fold there is ace-10-0, ace-9-0, king-queen-0. I'm not sure how much that really affects my range, but... Man, does it feel good to just get the snap full? <laughs> Everybody's had it there where he just snaps the ace king and there's a big pot. Dan's back to 12 bigs. 24, 28, 29, 36. My hand is going to play as a call versus every RFI. Easy call here. I mean, I have not iso a single one of his limps, so he, it's very possible he just thinks I'm uh, possibly too passive. Alright, we're gonna continue on the flop. Sus turns and rivers. I kinda like playing check check. I don't I really don't want to get raised off my equity at all the spade. Don't really want to play a huge pot versus this guy. Unless we find a nine. Eight's interesting. Pairs, but I still think I need to continue. Just beating enough stuff. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I had a good feel for that. He RFI'd the small blind, he thought I was being passive, he took just some shit hand. And then on the turn, like, my queen high is just good. Big, big pot, big, big pot. I'm gonna limp this hand. I want to do a lot of raising in this spot, but... My hand doesn't, I don't think, want to do that much raising. Start with a check or a bet, both seem very reasonable. I think if I had a queen nine, I'm gonna bet a lot more. He still has plenty of better hands here, right? I mean, it doesn't mean I can't bet. So now the jack nine gets there. I'm gonna go for some value here. I mean, Doka's been pretty wild, though. Maybe I put this into another track. Let him bluff a 9 or a track. He's been pretty aggressive. The a6 hand was pretty, uh, pretty out of line. And I definitely need to put some queens in a track call on the turn, right? I mean... Alright. Now, 
what? I will go for value. I like pot. Just give him like eight jack. Is he thinking about? I don't know. Maybe he's thinking about bluffing. Maybe he's thinking about calling. I'll ask him later. I think we're trip leader. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but I mean, it doesn't. I mean, you know, whatever. Cover everybody now. Be excited for another break. Feeling fatigued. There's that four second mark, right? <laughs> it's just so easy to snap when you have like when you have your auto calls. And there's just so many more like four second folds than four second like I guess I'll put in ace nine or whatever, ace seven. Queen Jack hand was huge. Really, really big. I really do wonder if, like, the turn or the river was just like a deuce if he's just gonna bluff that hand. He might just be the guy that's like just half pot and then just giving up. So it would have been way more information if I would have known on a deuce if he gave up rather than a queen. Because, like, on a queen, it's, it's obviously a terrible card for him. Like, all of my just, like, continues there, the jack nine, the queen jack, whatever. A lot of them get, get there in some way. I definitely still have some barracking high, but... Alright, let's see what the fuck happened here. King of heart three. This guy's really getting after it, it seems. So, two point... Five X's, King Heart three. Plays check check. He calls with his equity. Whatever. Is uh, whatever hand call.
jam. I think my hands are strong enough to raise call. I think I'm gonna use a just a three big blind size. Yeah, sure. I think three point five is fine, two point seven seems fine. Just rip your ace five. It's fine, fine result. I've definitely shown a general lack of aggression, uh, mostly because of the hands I've played versus him. So I think even ISOing hands that feel uh, a little bit off to ISO is probably probably a pretty good strategy. And the guy is fucking ISOing, or he's like RFIing 6-4-0 against me, so he is definitely presuming passivity. have a good enough lead here to min raise this hand. I think I probably have like a reasonably tight image too. It's quite a forward Mr. Dan. It's not a forward. Alright, it takes us to break. I'm gonna pause. Alright, unpaused. Let's go. Five left. Shannon and uh, Schulman are heads up in the 1k. It's pretty cool. Schulman's been fucking crushing. I mean, Shannon always is crushing, but I feel like Schulman, as of late, same with Chewy, both those guys. Chewy's crushing the live. Schulman went heads up with Jeremy, heads up with Jeremy live, and uh, heads up with Shannon here. So it's cool to see. Almost no chance that we can get the big blind before. I mean, yeah, no chance. Just take our time. Man, 12k. I thought 10k would be the one where there were a lot of deaths, but it's gonna be soon. Things are getting uh, things are getting tighter. Looks like Pete Chen disconnected. <laughs> All right, he disconnected. He reconnected. And he forexed off 17 bigs. Very po I mean, it's very possible to be a thing. Maybe that check seven was too. I don't think so. I covered both guys. It's possible with how close the stocks are. It wasn't great, but I think it's fine. Let's go collisions. Dan Smith RFI, I'm all in. Versus a Wantman RFI, I think I just call. That's lovely. Very lovely. Let me ramp up my aggression in this node. I think three bigs is plenty. I still have plenty of limps here, but my overall blind versus blind aggression has just been very low. Fold? Let me just jam my hand on the button. So concerned he's gonna put it in too wide here. I, but I just think he's opening too wide as well. Come on, let's get this through. Fold. Come on, it's huge. It's huge. 
And even if he's not opening too wide, I just think I'm all in. Like, if he's opening what he's supposed to be opening, I'm supposed to be all in, I think. Where that can get bad if he's opening a correct range and calling far too wide. Or or Ray's calling far too wide, rather. So he wouldn't be opening a correct range. But, uh, like, hands he's supposed to be all in there with if he's inducing. Uh, I think hands like ace queen o come to mind. Hold. Hold the door. Nice hand. If me and Doker get heads up again, it's it'll be pretty sick. I would very much enjoy that. Four left. What are we guaranteed? Fifty k. Five. It's five fucking buy-ins. It's not like it's not great, but at a high, at the higher, at the higher end of the buy-in level, especially online, it is. Uh, Hold. Pair the board. Oh my gosh. Three handed just like that. I guess the twelve K level was the one that uh that was gonna get all the all the fireworks. Let's fucking go. Three handed for 155k. Alright, now I'm getting a little adrenaline. Waking up a little bit. Easy fold here. Just fucking, why don't you do it again? Why don't you just <laughs> get it in three in a row? And then we just get heads up for 55k. Or whatever, 48k. Come on, have it. Oh, that would have been legendary. If it was three hands in a row. Alright, alright. Back to reality. Alright, now he's covering me. We're playing three hands in this spot. I managed to do a ton of limping with my overall range. Hand fits nicely into a little call. Not too much. Not too much. So I'll be interested to see what sizes he starts to choose in, in blind just blind interactions. Okay, 24 and 5. 2.4? This is smaller than I would have imagined. 30 big steep, but. I mean, he's getting ICM pressure on me already, so. That is a flop. He's gonna see by this board too much. Everybody see by this board too much. I see him more. I think. Maybe he's supposed to see by a lot more. Sized up slightly. I think I just call. Part of me just wants to start putting more money in the pot, but. I don't like call. Very interesting turn decision now. I have the added equity, and he has so many just low equity bluffs here. At this point, I think I block. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. Big blind bet. I'm blocking two pairs. He might find thin raises. He has some 6 8. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Every pot's so important at the moment. Sure, the guys are going crazy after that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, how deep are we? So this is a hand I should mix in at some frequency. And I've been showing pretty quite a bit of passivity. I'm gonna go with a really big size. That's three. That's four. Four and six is fifty. Go for a really big size. Yeah. This one I'll probably put into my limp fold strategy. It's 
starting to be limping a lot, but I'm getting closer to a stack. Start with a check. Then that feels reasonable too. issue with my hand at this SPR is that when I turn a 9, it has, has issues. Now I think I'm going to bet, and I think I'm going to bet with a medium size. I'm going to go for a um, 17,000. I need equity here. My heart's good. Draws reasonable enough. some parts. Jack. Oh gosh. That is a hand that would have paid a lot larger bet. But sometimes that is life. I think my decisions feel reasonable. Maybe I'm supposed to get humongous, but I I don't think so. Not when the flush comes in. About twenty five bags here. I'll check this one. It's not quite as straight. Definitely want to do some better than the flop. And some checking. With the diamond, I'd bet more, but I'm gonna go with men here. Definitely clears out some equity. I get to cooler him on a four. Five, like an easy track track. I could still get value from some stuff. Probably too thin now. I wouldn't hate just pushing equity. Does he 
get huge sizes here. I kind of think so. Even stocked, I don't want to play a lot of hands or some. I think I'll just go with a limp re raise, but he's not going to be isoing me that much. So I don't polar on my flop betting strategy so my hand can fit in obviously but I'm also just unblocking his like bluffs like just the random 2-4, two, 2-10 two, whatever can I just check again try to let him delay bluff some hands Hands like practically a jack, right? Three six is nine k more, one point three. He might pay me with a queen here. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It's a tough one. It's possible like I'm just supposed to always raise there, but Yeah, I mean he's not that incentivized to ISO me super wide when we're even stopped. I think that I think that raising pre is is probably just the move there. Obviously, it's a dream when we get to limp pre raise, but like it just doesn't happen that often. Okay, I'm gonna put this into my really big size again. This ten five zero, and just go with the forty eight size this time. have a hard time dealing with big ISOs and like my size can just be whatever the fuck I want it to be um, in terms of like a simulation you can use all sorts of shit I think 3.2 makes sense uh, how about just make it easy I obviously hate my life against the three bet. Running hot, let's see if we can get some action here. <laughs> Can't complain. Can't complain, running hot. That I'm isoing him a bit more. I wonder if he's uh, he's gonna be a bit more inclined to uh, raise or fold his option, kind of. Okay, we're 
12. So 30 bigs. This is really close. This is a big by any, I think I'm all in. Man, this is close. I know. Did not find the set. The board interacts well with that range, so you can't just like willy nilly see about this board, I don't think. I have a diamond, maybe I can put money in, but I'm gonna just start with the check. Oof, I thought that was a three of clubs for a half a second. So he needs to be really polar on the turn. He'll be using a strategy where he like, like I don't think he'll push equity with like a seven or anything. Even his weak tens, I think, it's just gonna check again. His ace, king, ace, jack, I assume we're just gonna check again at really high frequency. And then when he bets, he's gonna use big sizes. Yeah, I think we'll have a easy fold. Yeah, boys, play a big pot. Play a very big pot. When can I start seeing the action? Yeah. Makes sense. I wanted to rewind and see a little of the, uh, I guess it was raise call, see back call. I like the size from Bucky. This makes sense. This to feel player might have been studying a little bit. We're just going to be all in with 7-8 of hearts here. Call. Call. I mean, he just has 7-8 of hearts all day, my man. Come on. I guess Bucky has hearts. Put your chips in the pot. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna have five three of hearts, seven eight of hearts. It's not very many combos. <laughs> I wonder how thin he goes here as well. I don't know what uh, Waltman chose for his flop size. But I am praying he just fucking calls. Oh, and Art Vandalay just have six four. Just call it. Oof. All right, that's all right. Nice hand, nice hand. Let's see what that happened there. I'm playing fourteen k. How the fuck do you do math on fourteen k? Raise call. Okay, so he chose about six to call. Check. Tricky, tricky spot, Mr. Art Vandalay. Fourteen, twenty-eight, forty-two. We have thirty-three picks. We have some icing pressure here. This hand just feels 
bit too good. Picking up these parts for him is just huge here. He's able to stretch his lead and put a lot of pressure on me. So I need to be a little bit careful. I have to retain the situation. I assumed you would bet range. My fives need to bet. I would rather have nine five suited or ten five suited. But this does fall pretty high up in my in my range that wants to bet. Five three is better, six three is better, nine six is better. Clubs feels really good here. Fucking go. Come on. Big one. Big one. I get to play heads up after, I mean, I literally just played Jaffe and talked to Jaffe about heads up online MTT poker for like six hours in the past 24, so that would be, uh, that would be pretty fun. I mean, it, it made my brain fried for this, but, but, uh, it would be fun nonetheless. Pretty cool use case for some new knowledge. Bompton's life if he had Ace King here. I don't know, Jamie just feels rough. Fucking 40 big blind stack behind. Like, I guess I wouldn't jam. I could just 3 bet fold. Or I could use a huge 3 bet size and then fold. So many options. Yeah, I could use a huge size, like as if I'm folding to Vandalay's jam. And then call off. I can make it like 14 bigs. I don't know. Forward seems reasonable. Oh, wow. He couldn't just fire the river. He must have got there. Oh, wow. He pushed equity with 7 5. Okay, he's open 7 5. Fuck. Wow. A lot of, uh, a lot of street poker being played, I think. That's small. Pushes equity with the third pot. I mean, I kind of like it. It's reasonable. Snap checks back river. Kind of sick. Okay, now we need to be really cognizant of stack dips. So we're going to pull out our handy dandy RTA. Had that many bigs, now he has more. 15 5 or whatever. Alright, now covers. Uh, 
I mean, you just opened the 7.5 suited, so I don't know what's stopping that. That is an all in size. I mean, like I actually kind of, I should have barreled the five seven, and then I should have folded the river. That would have been a perfect. Uh, I mean, like my line's like standard, but man, the size just really felt like value for him there. Man, it's way more likely in my mind that he's going thin for value with the six than than it is that he's like grabbing more bluffs and bluffing like king highs and stuff. should have bluffed that hand color. Some frequency, right? What's the action? It's probably the worst hand I've ever fold of my Jack X. I mean, we're like, I think we're like close enough that you can't really do too much to me. Where's my calculator? Sometimes bat most of the check. Can delay bluff here on some diamonds. Eight of diamonds, for example. Convinced that I should just be betting with my hand. But yeah, I, I should be betting this hand probably at a pretty reasonable frequency. Okay, now we are six, seven, eight, nine. Now I just want to target. Uh, I'm gonna target King High. Can we get two Jack Five bluffs through? I think so.
gold. Doesn't feel like it's folding when it takes too long. Mm -hmm. King nine, maybe? I don't know. Maybe stronger. Stop exiting out of the RTA calculator. I hope that's not wrong to have up for me, for fuck's sake. People might, be, might give me a hard time with it, but. Chuck, 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 fat, 80 something, call. Dokler, house, king high, lot. And some 8x and some ace x. Longman has a 2. Flushes, and Longman's range can be fucking whatever. Definitely just gonna have some random shit. Yeah. Fast call too. Ace, ace with club. Ace six, yeah. Man, he had him dead. All right, so that is not great for us overall, but that's okay. Uh, still in a really good spot. I feel pretty focused and good. Harder for him to continue with bluffs here. Uh, it's way easier when he can turn a backdoor flush draw, I think. I don't want to play my range as two face up for for Wantman because I do think that, like he's going to range me pretty well overall. If he can range you well, he can play very well. I just have to pay the man his money for this size, I think. Nice. Yeah, he, he can definitely bet that. He's going to bet his. Open wide, then, man. Come on, I don't know. Just give me an ace. Give me, give me a, give me that ace two back. I'm gonna start like using really tiny three bets or some. I think it's opening too wide. Let's see here we have 28 and six. It's 2.4 size again. I, I, I don't love this size, but I like to use really big sizes when I'm blind, so. No, all in. Standard flip. Vandalay wins. Heads up for bracelet. Sorry, Walton. Shove. It's 
Sudoku should definitely have a lot of traps here, I think. My computer would probably just trap tens there. Let him be with his like king five off shit. You know, he's do so, king do so. Mama definitely has a little bit of a swagger about him. Really good feel. Strong, strong player. A nice chip lead now. Let me check this hand, but I think in general I want to try to increase aggression everywhere. Start to really put pressure. I think my hand is a really nice bet. Seven. Definitely has some nine X. Choose the size, triple king highs, gloves great, have good equity. very often here. Has suited three X of clubs, for sure. It feels so soft to check this hand because he just has a nine, pretty good amount. So betting half pot kind of feels nice. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bet. Uh, I'm bet sixty seven. No, yeah, I don't know. I could just check. Supposed to check my hand. Oh god. Oh fuck. That <sighs> sucks. And 60k is worth a lot there. That's okay. That's alright, I need to move on. I'll worry about that hand later. I have nothing. I guess I can be good to go a lot, actually. Not a lot. Oh, he has king. Oh. Queen ten I need to open.
32, 27 bags. Feels like the way. You do not want to get caught. Yeah. Back to 20 bags, 64. That was a tricky river spot. So I'm just going to check my hand back for sure. He tricked me. I did not think that Bucky would put a 7 into check call, man, check call. That's so I mean, I, yeah, I should have been more reasonable. Of course, you can put the sun into it, but. Clock, 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 clock. Don't we'll find some bluffs here for sure. And Bucky will find some bluffs in the current node. Lovely sight to see. He's got some give ups, he's got some king x. He's gonna have some traps. One of the bluff, ten jack, ten eight backdoor type stuff. Eight does not operate super well as a bluff catcher. I'd way rather just have queen deuce off, check check and win. Check check and win. Let's go. It's positive. Every pot is. Playing pretty slow as a group of three here. Man, that is such a tiny size. I, mean, I would usually fold this in, but it's just such a tiny size. And two and two. It's practically a fucking anyways. Check raise with the nine of spades, but this range is just flooded with with stuff. I just fooled. Sucks. Man. This game, no, it was easy.
check. It's do so grace five I for sure I'm all in, but something about the six. Interesting one where like I'm just blocking a lot of continues, six of spades, eight of hearts, value protection. I think it's, I think I mostly checked this hand though. But here we are. It's such a nightmare to get jammed out of my hand now. This whole hand, every every node's been uh, <laughs> odd. Easy route, probably just shipping it free. Could be bad though with the smaller enemy. Check is very reasonable to just be the right, uh, be the right play. So I want to give him rope to turn shit into bluffs here. But he snapped call. He snapped call of the queen. Uh, or the jack seven. I'm saying. So it's making me think he's gonna snap. Like he's not gonna get thin for value. He's going to say to himself that I can't have the Ace of Hearts very often. So he might find himself bluffing here. Here's my hope. If he has a bluff on the river, he's going to think, oh, how, how does he have the Ace of Hearts here? I have the Ace of Hearts a lot. He doesn't ever have it. It went a little bit too big. Jim. Let's go. And Nate. The axe are tied again. Big hand. You know, that same logic I used to think that he might bluff might be why he calls a humongous size, though, too. It's like. I'm jamming there and he has an 8 in his hand, like what the fuck do I have, I don't have any of the boats. In his mind he might not think I can have the ace of hearts very often. Uh, so yeah, maybe, 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 like I was thinking, my, my first reaction when he was in the tank was like, okay, maybe smaller to allow him more rope to kind of bluff, but also possibly maybe just bigger. I have the fucking ace high flush. But I got paid from a non flush, so can't be too upset. Nice, 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 nice. I just think he's opening too wide. Go with a only six size. And do the punishing. Let's do it. Six, let's go. Come on. It's opening too wide. Spots are huge. Do you want to lay him down? Push your heads up with Dokler. 
making sure it heads up to the 35k pay jump. Give me a five days, I would check raise, but morning, morning, morning. I've been bluffing the spots a lot. Just give me a good luck for um nearly as many threes when he's like covering me with the shorter stack in the small run. Three-handed for a bracelet. Let's go. 155k. I don't feel tired anymore. Sleep. Sleep tomorrow. We're in a good spot. Next blind level jumps pretty big. Twenty five percent increase. I think they want this to lose. There's definitely, me I mean, I don't know. They could be meriting me playing slower and getting the twenty k BB because I think he's going to collide too much uh, as he gets shorter, but. Check versus limp. It's definitely possible. I mean, I said last night with Jamie Sands, but thinking about small Andy's. Just not sure. Just not sure. Just pray I didn't get fucking punished for a quick decision, but he just saw me check back a six. That's also kind of on my mind. I'm gonna go with the small. Rebat again. Oh. These spots are really critical. I'm risking a lot of my stock. Come on.
forward, right? I'm not really thinking about calling. I'm more so just thinking about bluffing. But I love it. Six of clubs, and my six of clubs specifically feels like it blocks a good amount of much, like getting check raised in the flop. So having plenty of protection and using that is a it's just a value bet on the flop. Cleaning up equity felt reasonable. Pretty straightforward check check turn. Realize equity. Not getting many better hands to fold. Sixteen bids. Is it twenty bids? Two and a half up to call the same, I think. I don't think I would fold. Uh, I don't think I would call it way too much right now. All right, we're back to even stacks with Wattman. We've won our chips uh, pre-flop with some aggression. He has won his chips uh, post-flop. Once again, just looking at that. Definitely not how many charts up or anything. Once again, it's like big blind enemy. I'd be okay being all in more often, but I just don't think it makes as much sense in this, in this format. Push equity, get some protection. I think just putting my hand into a check call feels, feels pretty nice. Too thin. Let's go. It's a big pot. Small pot, but big. King high. Ace do so. Wow. I think I would have liked to see a. Imagine if he would have ripped. That would have been a, a fun little, fun little hand to see flip over. As we call it. versus rip, I'm just completely dominating his range. It's so, so heavily based around the deuce through five, deuces through fives, maybe ace deuce through ace five, if he's using those. He's gonna have ace nine zero, oh, ace eight oh two and stuff, but he's never doing a seven, so. He's gonna be dominating most shit. Chips to float a dope here. If we're just gonna be honest, or I mean, we want a lot of chips going to pot over this. But although it is very dynamic, because like we can be very very even stacked here quickly. We're already very close as is. And then we're just playing 20 big blind, three handed for 85k more or something. 80k more. I think I can use this as a small three bet versus an ISO, or like a bet versus a raise, or whatever. If he were to make it 50, I think I could just make it 110, 
Once again, it's a lot to risk, but I think my hand is a nice for it. Let's go. It's lots of big. And it's just going to work so often. Right? That works. Dream made and stuck. Just keep up the aggression. These hand types are the ones. Chip lead. I mean, it's just, it feels worth so much to, to get after it a little bit. Just in terms of the situation. Is welcome. Raid is welcome. Call is welcome. What are you just that big size again? I think it's gonna be confusing to him. I think my suited hands are gonna fit nicely. It makes him play forward but forward more often with four say sex. going. Just keep up the aggression. Here. It sucks having like a hand like this that has to just raise fold, but we have good blockers. And like when he calls, we keep it like he, he has all the worst queen suited, jack suited, so it's not always as clean as like, oh, I raise my good hands, my bad hands. In spots like this, where I'm like covering now. Stick with it. That's what we wanted last time.
definitely going to shove some one over cards here. This is actually so good for me. I really do just have so many do sucks to get here. And I also am just really unblocking all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, I want to just fucking jam. This is going to work so often, but we definitely have traps. Come on! That's huge. Just check, check. Wow, Queen of Hearts 10. Let's fucking go. King, Deuce. Come on, building that lead up. Running really hot for me, obviously. Let's check another good one. Does he have? Seven twenty. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Ace three. Fifteen again. Come on. Gotta run hot in these spots. start playing an extremely heavy R5 strap. I can just put so much pressure on him blinders blind now. No more nymphs. Speed of play is moved up as well as we're getting shorter. Decisions have become easier. Reasonable option, maybe a flop. Lighting at a 30 to 16. 2.7 SPR, something like that. Definitely have to deal with some check jam here. I think check check makes some sense, but. I also just have the best time of all. I think mixing these two options is fine. Let's fucking go. It's huge, man. It's huge. Loading that lead.
He has plenty of, uh, like, you know, just in races there. Don't see it's 2.1. Plenty of gems as well. Nah, I don't think I need to risk as much raise this short. Let me just play, uh... Come on, man. Come on. Keep it going. He's, I mean, Doku's a good player. He's just running, running by, I'm sure. Retain the situation, which is just great. Doku's really falling short now. Ten bigs, twenty bigs. Good in my own head, but man, when I take so long to min raise, it really feels like it's just me saying I have a hand that wants to jam, but I'm gonna put it into a min raise track, so I don't risk that much. You know, maybe a mental leak. Still in a great situation, just have to play well. Play well, play well, play well. Easy jam versus an RFI here, and then a forward versus his jam, and then I'm jamming his big. It's really close. I just really like my situation here, though. I mean, that's why I didn't want to jam King through Suited. It's like, man, if I just fucking get called here, like, everything changes. My EV right now is just super high. Every single hand I get dealt. Oh, wow. Deuce would be painful. I don't love that. Yeah, yeah, definitely not love it, but it's fine. Forward forward is lovely. Absolutely lovely. I don't think I can raise any two here. I mean, maybe I can. Feels very close. Sixty. Let's go with this. Nice. Ace. Hold. Come on. Come on. Heads up. GG. GG, Sir Bucky. Good luck, Doki. Let's fucking go. Not quite a two to one lead, but a good lead. Put me down here. What the hell? I don't need to sit up there. I just played these games too. Alright. I don't want to say I'm super well studied, but I've been getting better. I text him good luck. wins a decent, decent amount. Just taxing him, good luck. Same to you, Bucky. He played well. He's, a, he's, he's tough, man. He's a good feel. He's, uh, I think he probably lets on a little bit less about how good he is. In a theoretical sense.
man, it's so hard to say good luck in the middle of the fucking hand and then just chat you up this river and then you pause, like... Yeah, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. My hand's really good for it, I feel like, but... King 10 can just get there in a lot of combos. I know I'm supposed to play a lot of limp, but I, I think that Doku's probably going to be a little bit passive versus limp, so I'm going to just play a little bit heavier and then race strat on the button. Blinds are up next 10, so I want to make sure I get the button when the blinds move up. Although I'm not sure it really matters. Prime candidate to just put money in the pot. I think I can mix 45k here. I can mix calls in. I kind of like 45k. I hate getting jammed on there. What the fuck can you jam here? I'm dead to 8x to the higher club, but how does that ever jam? I think I can just go for it. Yeah. It's not a very good turn for me though. And I have nine for backup equity. This isn't a really interesting spot. I'm gonna just check. Check raise check. Tricky tricky feels interesting. I think my hand's worth it all. Could be really thin. And 74. I bet it's 350. This is 2x pot. Uh, man, jam feels so good, but I think block's probably better. Just put it into this size. Never thought we'd do a jam with this combo, I wouldn't, wouldn't imagine. And he obviously has some trash. Come on. Come on. Um, send it right here. Jam. So many combo draws here. I think we just go for this bet 50 call off. We could bet 60 too. Yeah. It's all grab an easy jam, but for fuck's sake, like, just have it seven, have it seven. Have it seven, have five seven. Just call, anything. Come on, yes, 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 man. man.